Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade repair video for you today. I'm walking through the shop here, and Joe bought a game earlier that he's been working on, but it's still got a little problem, so I figured I would film a video of trying to repair it. This is SNK's Mechanized Attack. You probably can't see that. It's all bleached out. Mechanized Attack. It looks like it says Mechanized Attack 4, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> um, we've had these in before, so if you haven't seen the gameplay of this, we have other videos, but I'll play it here in a minute if we, uh, if we end up fixing it. Basically, the thing is up and running. He's got the monitor looking good. Right? Got the power supply working like it should. Got it all painted, but the... And the gun works, but the recoil doesn't work. So whenever you shoot it, it's supposed to go slap, 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 slap. And it's only doing it a little bit. So we're going to see if we can fix it. If you haven't seen this particular type of game, the monitor is actually down in there. And there's a mirror here that reflects it. So it's the old gun game. It's very similar to Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt. So uh, I'm going to try taking the gun apart, and we're going to look at the solenoid in there. I guess first we should try it. Let's, let's try it and see what it does. Maybe, maybe he's crazy, and it's working just fine. Yeah, it works for a second, and it stops, so it's kind of weak. So now it's not doing it, but it did do it right when we first started. So weak, weak solenoid. I can feel it moving just a little bit, and when we, when I first started, it did it a couple times. So uh, first step, we're going to take it apart and look in there because a lot of times it's something physical. Wires broke or halfway broke or loose or it's not mounted right or something. So we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like inside. All right, folks, so here's the solenoid. This is how it actually does it. You can see the wiring. Everything's fine. It's soldered well. And I did feel it work a couple times. So it just pulls this weight in, which then slaps back against the rubber. And it feels like everything is fine. It's not gummed up or jammed up or anything. Since it works and then decays the ability to work, it sounds to me like a capacitor issue or some kind of diode issue or something. Just me personally. I don't know. We'll see. So I think it's just uh, once it warms up, the voltage changes and it can't do it anymore or something like that. Now this particular one, this is the optic board, and there are a couple wires where someone has extended it. There's an optic right there that's taped into that tube, which goes out the front. This game actually did use optics to work. This little board, if you uh, get one that's, that's bad, you could probably repair it, but um, uh, twi uh, Twisty Wrist Arcade, ripped her at Twisty Wrist Arcade, remade that board, so you can buy those brand new, actually. Um, so yeah, I think this is fine. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna check the diode just to see if it checks fine And then we're gonna go trace down where the power supply is the little board that runs it and see how that looks Okay, folks you can get an idea of what it's doing oh, you are dead. Thou art dead Thou have continued So it's sticking in instead of releasing. Hmm. So here we are down in the bottom. New power supply. There is a transformer here for the monitor, an isolation transformer. And then you have this little transformer here that runs the gun. So basically the power from it goes over to a little sub board over here. We'll pull that out. An in-out board. Uh, and then um, the main board controls the in-out board with signals um, and then the in-out board sends the wiring up to the gun. By the way, I'm nowhere near the monitor. It looks like I'm touching it, but I'm like a good six inches away, people. 
So everything's working, and it'll work just for a little bit, and then it dies off. So it seems to me like something's getting distressed. So I'm going to pull that board out and look at it. We could measure voltage, but whenever it's turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, my digital meter is not going to be able to get a good reading on that. So um, we'll just have to pull the board out and check it out. See if we can figure out if something looks bad. That would be the first place, or the second place to look after you've looked at the mechanics of the uh, the physical uh, uh, solenoid. It looked fine. The diode I can't test yet because the uh, it's still connected. Um, you know, it's directly connected to a coil, so you can't really test it. Um, it's not shorted because I'm getting 17 ohms resistance each way. But it might be open and that's causing a problem or something. Um, yeah, but let me pull that board out and let's check out what it looks like. Okay, so this is the little board. That's where the transformer plugs in. Joey said that the thing, the, the board had f fallen into the bottom of the cabinet and then it pulled the cord on this, which is why it looks bent. Right. This is where the main PCB plugs in. And then this is where gun one plugs in and gun pl two plugs in if it's the two player version. There is, without a heat sink, a 7912 and a 7812. I'll have to refresh my memory of what those are. 70, one of them is 12 and one of them's. One of them's. Oh, hmm. I'll look it up. One of them's negative 12, maybe? Is that what that means? I'll look it up. Somebody's replaced the capacitors. So, it uh, looks like maybe somebody's been chasing this problem and didn't figure it out because the capacitors have been replaced and the two voltage regulators have been replaced. But you know what? The two bridge rectifiers have not been replaced. Bridge rectifiers are interesting because they're just diodes, and diodes, I don't understand completely what's wrong with them, but sometimes they'll do weird stuff like that. They'll work a little bit and then not work, or as time goes on, they'll degrade, so they'll work at the beginning and then not later, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It has something to do, I'm sure, with the way the voltage is getting passed through it. So, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... See if we can straighten this out a little bit. It doesn't look like it broke the pins or anything. So I think it's fine. But I think it's time to upgrade our bridge rectifiers with new ones. And then we'll try it back in and see if that alone fixes it. I'll, I'll check these too, but they've been replaced, so I don't know. I don't have a... I guess I, I need to plug it into the cabinet with just the transformer turned on and then check voltages, but our, our problem is we don't have a schematic for this. But it's a simple little circuit, so. And then over here, there are a couple little custom things. Um, we could track down the wiring and figure out what's what. Let me look, I think in the manual it does show the pinout of the uh, guns. So maybe I can look that up and see which pin the voltage goes to. And then we can track back through that and see what it connects to. And that'll tell us which uh, voltage regulator it needs. What do you think about that? Okay, folks. So I'm looking at this board. And let me get something to point with here. Okay, so in the schematics, it doesn't show schematics, it just shows a wiring diagram. It shows you that pins, we'll do it on this one, pins 11 and 12 are what run the solenoid. Okay, so if you look, pin 12 comes out and goes to here, and pin 12 of this also comes out and goes to here. So pin 12 is here. Let me brighten it up just a little bit. So you can see, I want you to see in 3D. Alright. So, pin 12 here is going to here. Okay. Pin 12 here 
that's going to here, which is here. Those are those two long things marked as SR SID 0502P. I'm going to look that up just to make sure that's not a common part, but it looks to me custom. If it is custom, I think what I might do is swap the two because one works for the first player and one works for the second player, and on this ca cabinet you only use the first player. So if there is some kind of... Uh, um, if there's some kind of failure here, maybe the other one hasn't failed because it hasn't been used uh, with an output. So maybe. So we'll think about that. But So that's one thing. And then another thing is if you look, pin 11 comes out here, comes over here, grabs pin 11 of this one as well, and then runs here, it's this trace, that connects to the big capacitors in the middle which have been replaced by somebody. Those are pretty new looking. Okay. And it runs up, and it comes up here to this bridge. And then it's getting its voltage from this connector. So you don't have that big of a circuit. You've got this, you've got the bridge, you've got the two big uh, capacitors. This is a resistor, so we'll check that too. Um, that runs over to, I guess, just ground. Big resistor to ground. I don't know why that would be. Some of you probably have already figured out the circuit. <laughs> um, and then it gives you your voltage. So that was that would be the 12 volts running out to the uh, gun, right? So this 7812 is running it. So I'm going to swap it with a new one, but this one tests fine. I guess I could check the 12 volts. I could check the 12 volts on the coil since it should always be there, and then check it to a ground in the machine, or to a ground on this board, and then hold the trigger down and see if the 12 volts falls. If it does, that would be our issue. Um, if it stays the same, then our issue has to be either on the actual coil, or it's on this. So what this looks like it's doing, and again, I am not all that technical, people. But you see one leg of this thing is the output to the gun, which is basically the ground to the solenoid, right? And then one leg is on ground. That's the ground plane, right? And then one leg goes out to the game board, and the other leg goes out to the game board. So the board has the ability... Um, the board has the ability to turn the ground on and off. So it's basically whenever it does something here, it's somehow sinking this pin to the ground. Which you could probably even wire up differently if you knew your stuff. All right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to swap the bridge and I'm going to swap the 7812 just because they're cheap and we got them. And you might say, why aren't these on heat sinks? That's just how they designed it. So I don't know. Maybe this failure is because of that. Um, but it's, it still tests fine. So I'm going to swap the bridge, and I'm going to swap that, and then we'll, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of an easy way to test it. I could test for the 12 right here on this board. I could test the 12, which should be coming out of this bridge. This should be 12 right here on these caps. If I check across that cap, that should be 12. And then if I pull the trigger, that should stay 12. If it starts degrading, well, if, if I replace the bridge and the, the uh, voltage regular, there shouldn't be any way that it can. But, but that's how we're thinking. So we'll figure it out. There's got to be something simple. It still may be that diode on the, uh, on the uh, coil, too. Okay, so I swapped out the bridge. Swapped out the 7812. And uh, re-soldered this. I couldn't bend it back straight, but oh well. It'll have to do like that. Um, if you're wondering what the rest of the stuff is for, it's to control, it's to make the voltage for the optic uh, for the gun, which is working fine. So that part, which would be this bridge, this cap, these caps, these caps, this voltage regulator, and this cap. Um, it's just making the voltage for the optic. 
Okay, so I'm going to go put it back in and see if that changed anything. And then I'm going to try our 12 volt trick. Um, and if that didn't do it, we're going to try just swapping those and see if that fixes it. I haven't made it back to the machine yet, but apparently that part is actually a solid state relay, which makes perfect sense. Ah, we about figured it out just by looking at it. I'll bet some of you did figure it out. So uh, the input, you just send in a DC voltage input, and then the output, it says one and two, but I don't know. It looks to me like maybe it's just connecting them together. I don't know. It says two amps, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So if it's like a regular relay, then these two make, so a voltage on these two makes these two connect together. Hmm. So yeah, maybe we just swap those two. But we're, first I'm going to plug it in and see if it fixed it with uh, messing with the 12 volt side. This is on the ground side. Okay, so I completely misread the traces. The 7812 has nothing to do with it. It's also part of the optic circuit. I made it more complex than it is. Pin 12 goes out to the what we now know are relays. And pin 11, I don't know why I thought that it jumped over here to the 7812. It has nothing to do with that. It just goes past it, and the only thing it grabs is that resistor, the two big, capac the two big capacitors that are connected to ground, the resistor that is also connected to ground, and the bridge. So we replacing the bridge, I guess, was a good idea. But uh, whenever I measure voltage across this, I get 30 volts. And when you hold the trigger down and the solenoid is supposed to be working, you keep 30 volts. So it's not, that's not the problem. Um, but the relays very well could be the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I was thinking, swap the two, and just see if we get any better results out of that one in this position. Um, so that's next up. So I swapped them, and when I did, on the other side of them, it's labeled. Nakai SR-S1D0502P solid state relay, just like the ones we were looking at online. Very cool. Okay, so I swapped the two. We'll see if that does any better. If we get lucky, one of the relays wasn't any good and the other one was. I will say that I've had a bunch of these mechanized attacks, and this is the only one that ever had um, the gun co relay, the coil giving me problems that uh, was on this side, so, I mean, that was coming from this board, so. The other ones had a broke wire or something like that. Okay, so I replaced the diode. So like usual, my first uh, thought was correct and I wasted a freaking half an hour replacing stuff that did not need to be replaced. Why did y'all do that to me? Oh. Thou oh. art dead. Well. Watch, it'll stop when you run out of bullets. And then start again. It's a freaking diode on the coil somehow, but it tests fine. It must be leaky. I keep hearing that diodes can be leaky. But that's what I thought first. Remember, that was the first thing I was saying. Remember, I took the gun apart first, and I was like, oh, maybe it's the diode, but then I didn't swap it. Should have swapped it. It's a damn leaky diode somehow. Now, how that would mess that up, I have no clue. Maybe it's just a timing thing. It's getting better as time goes on or something. I don't know. Hmm. But there we go. So it had a 1N4002 uh, a diode in it, and now it has a new one. So I'm going to put it back together, and then let's test play it a little bit. There it is. That was the whole problem, people. Look at it. It looks innocent enough. Look how tiny it is, too. Just look at that. Look at that. That little tiny part causing all that trouble. It's the focus of this entire video. I've wasted 30 minutes of your time by now just, by, just because of this one little part. Why are you still watching? It's been 30 minutes. Don't you have anything better to do? All right, let's play it a little bit. Waste a little more time. <laughs>
We appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Hey, before we play it, make sure to subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film all this. Like I said, it's a waste of time, but it's kind of fun, isn't it? Don't y'all enjoy it? I enjoy it. Difference, though, is I'm getting paid to do it. You know, like I'm make, making money off this. So uh, leave your comments and make sure you uh, let us know what you think. And uh, we want to thank everybody, too, that's been uh, using our uh, Amazon links. Do you know about that? Down below, there is a link to Amazon. Uh, if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, if you use our link to go to Amazon, anything you buy on Amazon gives us a tip. So we appreciate that. We also have links to things that we use whenever we do repairs on our website. So go to lionsarcade.com to check that out. And last but not least, don't forget to check out, look, there was like a Terminator. Don't forget to check out my brother Donnie. If you don't know about that, my brother Donnie is another channel here on YouTube. It's literally my brother. I'm over there with him a lot. If you like watching us work on these old arcade games, you would probably like watching us uh, fix old buildings. We've bought a couple old buildings in a town near here that we are fixing up. So go check that out. My brother Donnie. All right, let me turn the lights off. We'll plug this sucker up. I mean, it's already plugged up, but we'll, uh, we'll set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. All right, folks, here we go. I'm going to play through it a little bit. I've coined it up. It says, it says press P1 button. That's because it has credits. All right, we're going to play through. I'll play the first player gun, and you guys can act like you're the second player gun. Now, whenever you, uh, you'll hear a, like a, the whole time, that's, there's a solenoid in the uh, machine gun that slaps the back of it constantly, making all kinds of noise. So that's the, uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, let's fight. let's fight. Your mission, save captured spies. Oh, okay. Start, and then we're going over there. Stage one, land. so we're going to land first. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about the... I forgot about the... the uh, I got to find my button for the grenade. Oh, here we go. I have found it. So basically, you can shoot the, the rockets out of the sky. I don't know if you should... I don't know if you're supposed to shoot the guys in the water or not. But since it's a game and I have a gun, I'm just going to shoot everything. Including a submarine with a grenade. Oh, it didn't work. See my bullets at the top? You can actually run out of bullets in this game. I used one grenade and blew up a, a jet and two uh, battleships. Oh, man, what are they doing to me? to continue. I wonder how you, uh, how do you, uh, hmm. Oh, okay. My rank is nine. Why, yes, I will continue. That's an accident. Oh no! What am I 
gonna do? Oh, I art, I art dead again. Yes, I will continue. Yeah, that's right. I beat the boss. You landed safely. Attack after dark. All right. Emergency. Watch out. They are in the woods. Like it's it's almost like Street Fighter. All right, infiltration. Okay, check out these things are like Terminators. I don't know if you can shoot them when you're when you can't see them or not. I guess. this one some of the terminators look like humans that's pretty cool what oh there's the best dead they know my name come on now I art dead press player one button all right with a grenade and it bounced off of him. Imagine how much more fun this would be with uh, two players. All right, so I don't think you can hurt that guy when he's back there.
I wonder if I was hitting him low the whole time because it looked like when I was hitting at his head, it like hurt him more. You save spies. Go after enemy base. All right. Emergency. Look. The warehouse. Enemy ambush. Oh, no. Oh. Stage three, attack. I mean, this stage here looks exactly like Operation Wolf. getting tougher folks really if you think about it though for one person I'm doing pretty good I mean I've killed about 400 enemies maybe even mo uh oh sounds like a boss up oh come on stage clear bonus points i got more points that's good enemy's leader escaped track him down all right emergency enemy transport attack attack yeah whoa Oh no. I'm down to my last quarter, folks. Yeah. I cleared. Chase. did a good job on the the ones that are terminators they look cool oh they got me thou art dead